Hi friends, in this video we see about the topic current density. To understand this concept, we consider a conductor in the form of slab of length L and cross sectional area A. Okay, so imagine two such identical slab join side by side. Okay, so we can take two slab, two identical slab and join side by side. So the length of slab is 2L. Now we imagine dividing the slab into two by cutting it lengthwise so that the slab can be considered as a combination of identical slabs of length L but each cross sectional area is A by 2. Now we cut the identical slabs in it lengthwise so the length of slab is L but the cross sectional area is A by 2. Okay. Now the voltage across the slab is V and the current through the entire slab is I by 2. So from this we can write the resistance of each half slab is that is R1 equal to V by I by 2. Okay. So uh, from the uh, Ohm law resistance R equal to V by I. Here I is I by 2. So we can write I equal to I by 2. So V by I by 2. Okay. 2 is in the denominators. In the next steps the 2 comes into the numerator. So we can write 2 V by I. So V by I is nothing but that is a resistance. Okay. So 2 R. So R1 equal to 2 R. Thus having the area of cross section of a conductor doubles the resistance. In general, the resistance R is inversely proportional to the cross-sectional area. That is R is inversely proportional to 1 by A. Okay, so resistance is inversely proportional to A. That is if the value of R is low, the value of uh, cross-sectional area is high. Okay, so next one. In general, resistance is proportional to length. That is if the value of R is increases, L is increases or the value of L is uh, decreases, the value of R is decreases in the conductor. Okay, well. So R <coughs> is proportional to I. So already we have seen R is proportional to 1 by A. So combine these two equations. So R is proportional to 1 by, uh, sorry, L by A. Okay. So, to remove the proportionality constant, we add uh, proportionality, we add one constant. Here, the constant is rho. Okay. So, R equal to rho L by A. Here, rho is called the resistivity. Rho is called the resistivity. From this, we can write the voltage. So, V equal to I R. This is the Ohm's law. V equal to I multiply R. Okay. So, from this, uh, we can write I multiply, we substitute the value of R from this equation. So, R equal to rho L by A. So, we can substitute the value of R in this equation. So, next one, here I by A is called the J. Okay, so I by A is called the J. So, uh, we replace the I by A value into j okay so v equal to rho then i by a is the j then uh, remaining value is l so we can write l so the voltage v equal to rho j l okay so car uh, that is uh, i by uh, a is the current per unit area so current per unit area is called the current density and is denoted by j so j is called the current density Current density means current per unit area. Current per unit area. The SI units of current density is A ampere per meter squared. The current density unit is current A ampere per meter squared. Okay. So the next one. If E is the magnitude of uniform electric field in the conductor whose length is L. Then the potential difference V across its Ends is EL. Okay, so now we can write voltage is replaced by V uh, EL. So EL equal to J rho L. That is J is the current density, rho is the resistivity. So here both the sides are uh, L is there. 
so we cancel the l so remaining value e equal to j rho from this we can write j equal to e by rho okay so or j equal to sigma e here sigma is called the 1 by rho so sigma is called the conductivity so sigma equal to 1 by rho is called the conductivity okay uh, if you like this video please subscribe thank you